Hey guys, it's SodaPapa95. Welcome to another part of Xenoblade Chronicles, and last time, we beat Dixon, and got here to this mysterious place. Now, starting off this area... Why is my camera so close to me? Whoa! I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, starting off this area, we're going to have to be rematching bosses that we fought in the past. Yeah, this is awesome. But these bosses are pathetic. Because, well, even though that we had to fight Spirit Moonkar here, and the battle theme is awesome here, um, <laughs> but anyway, you, you do not need Enchant to actually, you know, damage him even though he's a mecha. I mean, it's, these are just practically memories of these characters. So yeah, really easy bosses. But what you want to do is not use a single chain attack on any of them, because you really just want to get a chain attack built up. And that is your main objective when rematching all these bosses. But anyway, going through here, this is... Um, okay, that took a while. That This is a teleporter, now we're at Jupiter. This is more like the space of our world. Spirit Zord coming up. I see. We're going to fight with these three, because these are the originally th three that actually went into this fight. Oh, originally. <laughs> I could. I could see that coming up here. Alright. Let's do this. But once again, you do not need enchant for this. Just get a chain attack built up. Alright, that is what you want to do here. Alright, we'll just go for the Thunder Bullet. And yeah, so yeah, even though that these bosses do have the same arts that they did before, they are not nearly as deadly of bosses. They are pathetic. Look how much, look how easy this practically is. Just do. Alright, we'll go for the Thunder Bullet. And... Yeah, I don't even need to heal up anybody yet. I mean, it, it doesn't even have a blue portrait around it or anything. It's just the typical enemy portrait, you know? Alright, we'll go for the head shaker just because I just don't want to just be auto attacking. I don't want to actually use some arts here. And, um, Zord Impact. Once again, not going to be that deadly. I'll just heal Brian just to be safe, I guess. I don't know. But as I said, this battle theme is actually really awesome, and I typically know the themes of, of music that I really like, you know, the, the official name of it, but this theme I never actually looked up, it always slips in my mind. But yes, actually one thing I should note about this area, you cannot save anymore throughout the whole adventure. So if you do not save before entering the transporter prison island, then... You're going to want to be sure that you finish the game right here, right now. We're at Mars. And it looks like we're about to go fight a Telethia. So I will put the characters in the team that we actually use to fight the Telethia. Well, I think we'll actually put somebody else in the team. We'll put Ryan in the team. Why not? And I'm going to be using playing as Ricky because I barely played as Ricky this Let's Play. I... What I realized, I'm not sure I might have played this a lot, but yeah. But once again, just as the other two mech on that we had to fight, this thing has zero soul read. It cannot use soul read, so you do not need Manado Purge or Mind Blast to be able to do stuff against it. Alright, so we're gonna get some XP right there, nice. And we're just going to do our combo. Get a lot of debuffs on it, let the debuffs take its toll, and I think it's immune to topple. Makes sense. Yep. Well, I got in bind, so let's do say sorry. And do a lot of damage. Nice. I went for freezing it, and this fight is going really easy. Probably easier than the other two. And you do not want to use your chain attack here. Just get it built up, trust me. And we are... And let's go for Thunderbolt. <laughs> Alright, we are almost done here. Let's just get going through the transporter. And there's Mars. Or, are we at Mars? Yeah, we are. Can I go through the tra transporter? Goodness. 
and I forgot to close the door behind me. I always do that before videos. Yeah, what would, would, would be a video without me stupidly forgetting something, you know? Alright, I actually, I, oh yeah, we're at the moon right now. Okay, coming up, last fight, I believe. We just want to get your chain attack built up as much as possible. Just bring all, all them bonus effects, all those strong arts. Get that party gauge built up. Trust me. Let's do this. Let's let the party gauge deplete no more. Let's get this going. Spirit Gattle. Let's do this. Alright, and if these two can get the aggro off of Shulk, that'd be nice, because then I get my bonus effects. Let's do this. Alright, we'll go for the Air Slash. As a matter of fact, does Monado Buster even get boosted damage on it? I mean, it's not something I want to test out, because I also want to come in with a full, full talent gauge, along with full party gauge. Yeah, just come in with all the full gauges. So I'm really glad that uh, Fiora is using speed... Or no, she, she did use speed shift. So, so that she get her talent gauge built up. And we'll finish it off. And right now, we're just going to make a mad dash for the transporter, and it looks like everybody's at level 80. Just as I'd want it. Just what I needed. Alright, let's go. It's beautiful. Is that a ball of water? So, you finally made it, Shulk. <gasps> it's you. What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see which path you choose. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Ugh. Welcome, Shulk. That voice. It's Anza. But he looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. Ha! You gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. You will be granted eternal life and unimaginable strength. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings! Playthings? Yes! You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they are transformed into Telethia. What are you talking about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did not transform them. I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form, the High Entia. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. 
Iolius is nothing more than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still can find you to Prison Island. That is how limited you are. Confined me. I was merely resting there for a while. I was wounded in the battle with Maynard's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel, revealed to me in a vision, would be born. Until I was born, precisely. I intended to inhabit your body and once again do battle with Maynard. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynath. You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Shulk. Never! I don't want to be your vessel or your disciple. I just want to live my life as a Hans in a world without you. That is most regrettable. You could have entrusted all to me and attained peace. But perhaps the vision of mortals will ever remain limited. Using one's power to change the world, that is a right possessed only by gods. Is that why you laid waste to the Connets? Of course along with the beings called Machina, who followed Maynard. They had evolved and become insolent under her protection. <laughs> so you're saying us Hongs are next in line, eh? You are correct. You yourselves have proven that Hongs are a dangerous species. How unfortunate. I had a desire for friendship. But... Granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. A god should not long for friendship. You're wrong! Maynard chose to exist alongside us. She grew to consider us her friends. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected, it appears that I was mistaken to grant free will. However, all will soon be over. The Telethia will exterminate all life on Biomis. I will then create a new world. Just as I have done many times before. We will not allow it. We cannot. We will stop you! Zanza, the final boss of this game. Let's get this fight started. He's gonna start off by summoning two other enemies to fight alongside him. Zanza Guardians. You wanna take care of these guys first, because I believe with these guys on the field will boost up Zanza's defense power. So you want to be sure to get rid of these guys ASAP. But if you want to be able to get visions in this fight, you must get the press B button successfully, or else you will not be able to use them. Or you will not be able to get a vision. But before that, one right there could use Twin Break on Fiora. We're going to hopefully kill it. Fiora, please have your talent art. Dang it. Close. Alright, we're going for the double wind. Melia, go for the. Don't go for elemental discharge. Go for Spear Break. We get another one. Shulk. We're going for now Cyclone. Let's do it. And we're just going to finish this one off right here. We're going to take him down the other Guardian, too. And hopefully Fiora's Arts, Arts Heal Gem will kick in. And, and, uh-oh. This is not good. By the way, I'm going to say right here, no promises I'll get this on my first, second, third, eighth shot. Because this fight is really hard. I have no promises whatsoever. But I'm going to go in with the party... I'm sorry, Melia, you're my favorite, but I'm going to go with the party that I used in the last time I played through this game. 
Because this team is what got me through this fight. Shulk, Fiora, Ricky. Let's do this. Alright, we're just going to target Zanza this time around. Instead of trying to go for the Guardian. We're just going straight for Zanza. Alright. And nice. Alright, we're going for the Air Slash. And let's just keep on targeting Zanza. All of our bonus effects, we gotta get a chain attack built up. Alright, I think we got it. And, but just saying right here, Zanza is completely immune to daze. So top locking is not the best strategy in this fight. Is it still a good strategy? Yes, it is. But is it the best strategy? No. Because you cannot inflict daze to extend it for even longer. But it's still really nice. So we're going for the bitey bitey. And another one. Alright, let's go for the Mao Cyclone, because if we have the opportunity, we might as well extend the topple. And we can even hit some of his Guardians, too. Alright, another hit. I know exactly what I'm doing. We're going for the Final Cross. Four hit combo, extend it for even longer. Um. Uh, Zanza, you, uh, you really let yourself go, buddy. Uh, look at how much damage I already did to you. Alright, well, I cannot continue my multiplier, unless I use Rolly Poly. Let's go for it! Oh my god, it's like the topple, yes! Alright, so I guess we'll just go for the slit edge. And, nice, he's gonna be down for the count for a while. Alright, just keep on targeting Zanza, guys. Chain attack, built up, let's go. Backslash. You from the side? What on earth? All right, we're going for the final cross. Topple. All right, Ricky, come on, give it your all, bitey bitey. Another one. All right, Shulk, slit edge. We're from the side. Fiora, spear blade. Ricky, I'm not going to live to regret this, buddy. You're going to kill him, or finish this. Part off. No, it didn't. He's back up from the topple. Alright, we have to kill him now. Now to recover! No health for you, Zanza. We have a chance to swap up the party. I'm keeping it the same. Second phase of the fight. Now, I believe his auto attacks are ether based, so there is no avoiding them. Just do the same as you did last time. Get your tan attack built up. Go right behind him. Let's get this going. We are going for the... You know, that top lane last time really worked out. I say we go for it. Except Fjord doesn't have her uh, final cross. I'll just go for the double win. Ricky, go for the roly poly. Maybe I could topple him. Nope, he's. Th that must have been inflicting bind right there. And roll reconstruct. That is something different. Well, I don't know exactly what. I think it just summons guardian. Wait, that, did it? What did that even do? I don't even know. It probably branched him some crazy, awesome buff that's bad for us, but good for him. And all right. We're getting division. Let's see what we can do about it. Monado combo. What's up with the Monado voice that he can get, but we can't? What on earth? I want that one. Anyway, there is no way that Fjord can live that even at max HP. You bet I want to get a Monado speed up. Alright, go Fjord. Dodge it. Please, please dodge it. And I'm getting out of the way just to be safe. She did not dodge it. Alright, come on. And I'm really glad that Shulk's really feeling it in this fight, because he needs to be. Let's do this. I'm healing up. 
And, oh man, come on. Bionis Buster, that is super strong, if I remember correctly. And Fiora's inflict, no, not Fiora, uh, Ricky, Ricky. Ricky is inflicted with Daze. Come on, let's get behind him. Where is he? Right here. What do I do? Backslash. All right, Fiora, you don't have found cross. We're going for the. We're going for the. We're going for the. The. I want to get a multiplier going. Double win. I don't know. You know what? No, I have to heal here. I don't care. I had to do that. That's something that I just cannot just pass up. All right, we're going for something, Natui. Buster. Times two, I'm fine with that. But gun drones two uh, times three multiplier. Let's do this. Nice. All right, another hit. What should I do here? Um. Huh. I could go for the burninate. That would be nice. But I think I'll inflict bleed. I made the right decision because I need to get my multiplier going. Slit edge. Another one. All right, Fiora. Spear blade. One more would be really awesome. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We're getting the vision. I don't know if I'll be able to stop this one. Titan Bazooka 9. Yes, there are no level 10 Talonars of the enemy to be using for us to ever block again, so don't le level up your shield to level 10. It, it just wastes time. Come on, one more. Cannot, come on. We shielded everyone in time. Sweet. That is awesome. Alright, black hole. I'm almost scared. That... Wait, what happened to my talent gauge? That must have just lowered the talent gauge all the way. Shoot, that really sucks. Alright, but we're going to go for the bone. If you're any healing, let's get that out of the way. Alright, and we're getting a vision. Can we stop it, though? Mechanus Buster. He's gonna be using Manath Minato. Alright. Alright, we got to stop that. Alright, Fiora, dodge it. Alright, we got that. I might need to... That might have hit uh, Ricky, though, so... yeah. Alright. Come on, get behind him, Shulk. Let's do this. Backslash. You, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a little nervous right now. Double wind. I'm actually shaking a little bit. This fight's awesome. Buddy, buddy. What? No multiplier? I got multiplier like all the others. We'll reconstruct again. And, uh-oh. Here we are. In this fight, for the final phase, Shulk has a new weapon. Minato 3. We are giving him back his... Oh, I don't know. We can just give him some. We are giving... No, we're, we're giving him back his 
gems that he had. I'm not attack plus. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm sorry to say this, guys, but we're going to be finishing this in the next part. The next part will be the finale. Part 67 is going to end off this, this Let's Play. So next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we're going to finish the game. Peace out, everyone.